I'm here, the more I don't want to leave. It's another quiet morning. It's super, super nice out. Early June, low wind, birds are chirping. I haven't gotten my building permit yet, so I'm just going to continue on uh, working on fire mitigation. So I have my chainsaw, um, and I'm just going to be starting to get rid of this coyote willow that's underneath all the pine trees around my cabin just for fire mitigation and to you know keep fire from going up the tree and it also looked nicer not being so uh, bushy under the trees Just taking a hike around, enjoying the property. It's so quiet, peaceful. So the excitement this week was a bear on the property. Twice in one day. It's a blonde black bear. Came in first daylight sighting on that new security camera I installed. It's pretty cool. Though a little unsettling, not crazy about having bears here. Well, generally they don't bother humans and there's very few attacks in Colorado in 2023. There was three interactions with black bears. And I think worldwide there's only like 40 or so attacks and only one one death a year but still who wants to uh run into a bear so i know he's in the area he did take a loaf of bread uh, out of a cooler and then he came back in the evening looking for more generally we don't keep any food out but just so happened um we had got some bread and it was in a cooler, hadn't got made it into the house yet, and he came by early in the morning and snatched it. So I do have bear spray on me just in case, but I don't anticipate any problems. I'm actually looking to set up a campsite around this area. It's a pretty quiet area of the property, southeast corner. I may potentially, I haven't decided, but open it up for um, renting on weekends for a campsite. I don't know how I feel about it totally, but we'll see. But this area of the property, it's, it's, it's fairly flat. It's wooded and open, so there's plenty of privacy. Can't really see the buildings. It's away from the cabin. So even if I did have people up here camping on the, on the weekends, I could still be at my cabin or in the back of the property uh, where my house is going to go. And still earn a little income off the property to help pay for taxes and internet and things like that. Finding ways for passive income that you don't have to really work for, that's where it's at. Because even when you own your property, 
you still have to pay property taxes. And if you don't pay the property taxes, well, the government takes your property. So you never really own your property. You just have different landlords. So if I can earn a little money, I'm gonna try without increasing my liability too much. My biggest fear is having someone here with a campfire and then, you know, having something go wrong. But overall, I think this is a good area. So I'm gonna research this, walk around. There's plenty of rocks. At some point I'm gonna have to find the, the perfect spot. I'll build a fire ring and then I'll put down some some gravel about five feet around the circle so if embers pop out they won't have a place to spread into the grass. I missed capturing it on video but I heard some rustling up here and out came a bat right on the top here and I had just gotten another bat house but I don't necessarily want to put it right near my door because I imagine there's going to be guano that will come down so I'm going to set it up on the eave on the other side of the cabin and hopefully they'll start using it there too. No bats yet in the first house. When you don't have a ladder tall enough to hang your bat house you improvise. All right there we go another bat house on this side of the cabin. They'll probably still use the eaves, but there you go, bats. Another place for you to hang out. What is that? It's so quiet here, I almost feel bad starting my chainsaw, but I want to get this stuff done before the heat of the day. My neighbors are pretty far away with 30 acres, but sorry, not sorry, I got to get this done. Here is a before. After. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the way this looks now. With all the trees delimbed, all the low brush gone. A lot of work done, blistering hot today. But section by section, I'm just working my way through.